Hey guys, this is the part 3 of our Ruby on Rails frequently asked question series. In this video, you will find another 10 questions. So let's start with the first question from this video. How many types of associations are in Rails? So as we know that associations are very useful in Rails to implement real world uh, relationship between two entities. So you must have idea about that. So please read that and prepare the type of association in Rails. What do you mean by partials in Rails? Explain the usage of partial and the way you can pass local variables to a partial. So partials are also a very important concept in Rails development as you can uh, use partial for managing common piece of chunk view chunks or view code into and render that into uh, different controller actions. So you must have idea about that for example header and footer content which uh, you can manage into the partial and you you can use that header and footer partial at uh, uh, across the various controller actions. What do you mean by delegates in Rails? Explain usage of delegates. What do you mean by helper classes? Please explain. So helper are also a very good concept and uh, very important concept and you must know about that because using helper you can reduce the logic at the view and you can manage that uh, view level logic into the Ruby file. So and their helper can help you. What do you mean by mailers? How many ways to pass arguments to a mailer? So mailers are also very good uh, concept because uh, in Rails application, if you have to send an email to or you have to implement a feature where you want to send emails, then action mailer can help you. And mailers are also treated as controllers where a controller action have a template and you can pass params to that template. Similarly, you can uh, create a, a template for a mailer action and pass argument to that uh, uh, the mailer action and that uh, params will be used inside the template or you can perform some logic at the mailer action as well. What do you mean by concerns in Rails? Explain the way of using a concern. So concerns are used at both model and controller level and you can write the common code which you, you have to use across multiple controllers or models. So you can manage that piece of code into concerns and in using concerns you can write thin models and controllers and make your code very dry. So use that as well as use the uh, implement the concerns as well and try to prepare it to get more better with that. Have you ever used a sidekick? Explain how it works in both production and development environment. So sidekick is a gem uh, or a third party which is used to handle the background job processing inside Rails and you must have idea about that because uh, uh, many of the Rails application which are large enough and they use the sidekick for their background processing and if you are an experienced developer let's say around three to four years then you must have idea about the sidekick however it is not necessary but it is good to know about the background processing in ruby using sidekick what is the difference between a sidekick worker and a rails active job Okay, so both sidekick worker classes and the Rails active job classes are used to write jobs for processing in the background. And if you work with both sidekick worker and Rails active job, then you will know the difference between sidekick and active record a uh, active job. So let's prepare this as well. What do you mean by rake tasks? How you can define and implement custom rake tasks? So rake tasks are used to perform some logic uh, uh, which you can use as a scheduler or you can uh, use them as a uh, periodically execution or you can use some you can maintain some piece of code there or logic there that you can run eventually whenever you need for example when you generate a model then a migration will be generated as well and then you need to run rails db migrate or rake db migrate in the older rails version so it is a rails task or rake task okay which you need to run to get your um, schema take effect of the latest generate migration similarly you can write rake task for sending multiple emails for example if you have uh, implemented user model today and after a couple of years or a couple of months if you need to send all the emails to uh, existing user 
then you can write a direct task to send emails or you can write direct task to import and export concepts and it depends upon whatever need you want to fulfill using direct tasks okay so you must have idea about what the direct tasks are and how to implement to define custom direct tasks in rails do you know about active storage how can you use this okay so active storage is introduced since rails 5.2 version and you must have idea about that because active storage is nowadays heavily used inside rails application for uploading uh, attachments like pdf and images uh, before active storage there were some gems like uh, career wave and paper clip but uh, paper clip is not uh, no longer maintained right now and it is not so uh, uh, it is not supportable for the newer rails version so you must have idea about the active storage and it is very good feature introduced by rails 5.2 5.2 and now you can use in a newer version as well so you must have idea about that so thanks for watching this video in the next lecture we will again meet with uh, another 10 frequently asked question and i will add the link of first two videos into the description of this video so go through them as well if you haven't watched that till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe and also subscribe the channel for more